So you need to make a recruiting video, whether you're going to college or maybe you are about to finish university and you want to go pro, you need a video to show agents, to show coaches. I got you. Hey guys, Key Michael here, professional volleyball player and University of Miami alumna, alum, alumni, alum. I'm just one, singular, one alum. <laughs> if you're looking for a few tips on how to make a great recruiting video, you've come to the right place. My college recruiting video, although highly embarrassing if I were to dig it up now, which I will not, it must have worked because I ended up with a full five-year athletic scholarship to a division one ACC university. Granted, it's been a couple of years, <laughs> several years since my college days, but I've also made a few recruiting videos in my professional career, so I've got a few tips up my sleeve to help you guys out. And before we get started, I need to tell you guys I have a special guest giving you guys a bonus tip. This person has so much more video experience than me. So you gotta stick around to the end of the video if you wanna get that. But for now, let's get started. Here are my top five tips for making an awesome recruiting video. My first tip is always film your match footage from behind the end line. Coaches and players at the higher level are just used to seeing footage from this angle. They can see the trajectory of the ball, they can see the, the depth, the height, the speed all of the things that they need to see, they can see from this angle. So normally coaches will take their video camera and put it a little bit raised behind the court. So whether that's on the second floor or attached to something on the wall, if you or your coaches or your parents, whoever it is that's filming, I recommend you do the same thing because this is how coaches like to watch. It's the most effective way to get the best footage. Number two is add your info. You wanna make it very clear from the very beginning of the video who you are. So your name, your age, your position, your height, your jersey number, your club, your high school, all of the things, all of the jazz needs to go right at the beginning. You don't wanna make your coach be looking through his emails or checking his Facebook or how it is you communicate. You don't wanna to have to make him remember any of those things. So just put it in an info card right at the beginning. Info card just means text on the screen. You wanna make it super clear, use an easy font, simple graphics, no emojis, no GIFs. <laughs> you wanna be like an Apple product. Minimal, streamlined, and totally idiot proof. The next thing to keep in mind is coaches are freaking busy, so keep it snappy. Maybe like a 30 minute intro max, and then get into your skills. It is good to show your face, to show your personality, to show your enthusiasm for the recruiting process, but don't drag it out because you'll just end up being annoying. The fourth tip is show your skills, obviously. <laughs> In the pro world, you really only need to use real time match footage. So you're gonna take, let's say, two of your very best matches and you're gonna chop them up into your highlights. So you're gonna have about 10 of each skill. That's serve, attack, block, defense, and serve, receive, and set, depending on your position. And if you're in high school trying to get into college, it's also customary to make a skills video, which is basically the same actions, but in a controlled environment. So maybe in your high school gym with your coach feeding you balls and you'll do reps in a row. You don't wanna chop this up. You want this to be 10 of an action in a row so the coach could see that you can actually do the thing more than once. <laughs> in a row. So make it an uninterrupted sequence. And no matter what, in addition to your highlight and your skills video, which can be one video, you want to have an entirely separate full match start to finish video so coaches can see all of the things that you do in a match, totally raw and hashtag no filter. <laughs> and the last thing I would say is make sure you upload your videos to some kind of shop but some kind of file sharing service like YouTube or Vimeo, you don't wanna try and send an entire match over email or Dropbox or even WeTransfer. Just send them a link, they can click on it, they can share that link with other coaches, with other agents. It just makes it super simple. There's nothing to download. The match will be there. There's no expiration of the link. Just, it's always there for anyone to see up on YouTube. And like I said earlier, you wanna make it super stupidly simple for coaches to see you, assess your skills, fall madly in love with you, need to have you on their team, make you an offer that you can't refuse and change the entire course of your life. Hmm. So there you go guys, my five top tips for a recruiting video. But since I love you guys so much, I wanted to bring in an expert with a bonus tip. So my friend E is a sports videographer and a YouTuber, and he has a special tip for you guys. 
Hey guys, my name is E and I am very happy and humbled to have been invited by Kira to talk to you guys a bit more about the technical side of filming a recruiting video. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the framing of your shots when you're filming. The most common mistake I see people do when filming a game is that they tend to move the camera a lot when trying to follow the ball or follow the player that they're focusing on. But in sports, there's so much movement already that the camera doesn't need to move all that much. Actually, what I tend to do most of the time is I keep the camera locked into a position and just let the action do all the talking. So what does that mean? It means you should put your camera on a tripod, set up a wide shot for example so that we can see the full court and all the action, and then press record and just let it be for a while. Then if you want a different shot, you can either move your camera into a different position or keep it in the same position but zoom in for some close-up shots. But then again, the close-up shots shouldn't move either. Just zoom into a frame where you know that eventually something is going to happen and just wait for it. For example, if you're filming a blocker, pick a spot that seems to be the most likely spot for a block to happen and then press record and wait for it. 8 times out of 10, the action is going to be outside of your frame. But those 2 times out of 10 though, are going to be perfect close-up shots of your blocker going up and down just like on TV. And that's the name of the game here really, patience. Don't chase the action, let it come to you. Another quick tip for me, as an editor first and foremost, I find it really helpful when I have something to cut to that adds variety to my video but also has a purpose for being there. So in the case of a recruiting video, I think it's worth going to training early one day with someone filming you and record footage of yourself doing all the things you would normally do in a game but with the camera actually on the court with you filming from up close. It will make it a lot easier to see and appreciate your technique and it will also make the edit much more dynamic and richer in content as you go back and forth between this and your game highlights. So that's pretty much it for me. I hope I was helpful and that I was up to the standards you typically get on this channel which are quite high in my opinion, so hopefully I didn't disappoint. On that note, back to Kira. Oh, how crispy and amazing does that footage look? So awesome. Thank you so much, E, for sharing some wisdom with us. And for you guys, if you are making videos and you want to learn more, I promise you, E is so experienced. He has so much knowledge and he's sharing it all on YouTube. So make sure you check out his videos. I know I've learned so much from his tutorials. I will link his channel here. So there you go, guys. I really hope this video helps you. If you are creating a recruiting video, just like it did me, let me know in the comments if you're going through the recruiting process right now. I know it can be super stressful, but I have tons of videos on this channel that might be helpful. Tips, tricks, behind the scenes, interviews with other pros, all things professional volleyball. If you're curious, be sure to check some of them out and hit like if you got anything out of this video. Hit subscribe if you like volleyball. Hit the bell if you're an absolute legend <laughs> and otherwise I will see you in the next one.